everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 614 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today, I'm gonna to be playing with one of my favorite things, which is pink glitter. So I have this product right here, which is from the brand AOA Studio, which is the Shop Miss A private label brand. And this is their crystal powder that I have in the shade Rose Quartz. So I've actually had this in my makeup box of products that I wanna try out for this series for a while. And I just haven't really reached for it because I wasn't really sure what to do with it. And then today I was like, you know, I could go for a pink glitter pick me up. And I was thinking that I would just try it out on my eyes, but good thing I read the Shop Miss A website and good thing they called this out on their website they say that this is not safe for the eyes. Even though this is a loose powder, they don't recommend it for the eye area. So now I'm kind of stumped on what to use this for. Really, the only place that I would normally wear glitter would be on my eyes. So I'm gonna play around with it, but I would love to know in the comments down below if you have any recommendations on ways to use a loose glitter pigment like this. And also, this is kind of a good thing, but I'm getting towards the end of my box of products that I want to try out on this Trying A New Makeup Product Every Day series. So that means it's time for me to go out and buy more products. So I would also love to know in the comments down below if you have any specific products that you want me try, to try out as part of this series or any specific brands I should try out, stores. I'm thinking of maybe ordering from either NYX or e.l.f., Sally Beauty, maybe even Glossier. I've never tried any of those products before, but it would be so helpful if I could get some recommendations of what you would like to see. So definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But so now let's get into this product. So since this is from Shop Miss A, it only costs $1 and it's cruelty free. Shop Miss A actually does sell, I think it's a, t a 10 pack of these. I think that's what it is. In a bunch of different colors for $8. So that's an even better deal. But they have so many different shades of this glitter. I of course was drawn to the pink. But so, there's not even any sifter or anything. You just open it right up to the loose glitter. To start out, oh my gosh, I just have a feeling this is going to get everywhere. <laughs> I'm just dipping my finger in and picking up a little bit to see how it would be. Yeah, so it is, it's just loose powder. It has no liquid or stickiness to it, so it can, basically just be sprinkled everywhere. So it'll definitely make a mess. But if you did just want to sprinkle glitter somewhere, that's an option. I'm not so sure that this is even going to show up on camera, but it is very small glitter particles. And now that I've rubbed it into my skin, it does look very pretty sparkly. I mean, I love the sparkle effect. But for what I'm thinking of doing today, I grabbed my NYX Glitter Primer. And I think I just want to try for the fun of it, maybe making like a little heart out of the glitter primer and then taking just like a flat powder applicator and then pressing the glitter on, seeing how that works. I feel like that's a fun kind of festival inspired use of the glitter. I would love to do like a glittery lip, but since this isn't safe for the eyes, I don't really wanna put it on my mouth either. I like that the glitter primer comes in a squeezy tube because then it's so easy for me to just apply the exact shape that I want. Okay, you probably can't really see that, kind of can, because it's more like an off-white shade, which kind of blends in with my skin tone. <laughs> but now, I'm just taking, this is one of those standard, 
you know, eyeshadow applicators that comes in like those dollar store eyeshadow palettes. But so I'm gonna try and use this to pick up some product and just pat it. It kind of looks like a blob. But oh my gosh, these glitter, I mean this glitter is so pretty. I love the pink. It has holographic sheen, so there's that teal and purple reflection. So pretty. But I was definitely expecting this to be a little bit more visible and that you could tell it was more of a heart. But that's okay. I really don't know what I'm going to do with this since I can't wear it on my eyes, but it's so pretty. So hopefully some ideas come to, to mind or come to me from the comments that you leave because this is just too pretty not to wear, but I don't know a realistic way of using it. It is a nice glitter. So if you're looking for a loose glitter pigment, I definitely think this is a good option. It's easy to apply. It works great with that NYX glitter primer, which if you want to see my full dedicated review on that NYX glitter primer, I will have that video linked down below. I could probably mix this with like a petroleum jelly, something like that to give a stickiness to it if I wanted to apply it onto the body like the shoulders or the collarbone, something like that if I wanted to create my own body glitter in that way, maybe mix it with some lotions. So maybe that's what I'll end up doing with this. Maybe for like a party, an occasion where I wanna wear glitter on my body, I'll just mix this with some of my body products. But I still had some fun playing with pink glitter today. And thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video. Gosh, somehow I can see that I have like glitter on my eye. I don't even know how it got all the way over here to this eye, but I'm glad that I didn't end up applying this to my entire eyes because it's already making it hard for me to see just from this tiny bit of glitter that got into this eye. So I gotta go <laughs> clean this off.